Hi, this is Andrew Reversa with Impact Soundworks, and today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of Django Gypsy Jazz Guitar. You may have already seen our little teaser preview video for this virtual instrument, and if not, you can watch it here. And before I get into the walkthrough, I just want to say that I'm having so much fun with this library, personally. I was not the creator or the developer of it, although it is an Impact Soundworks instrument. This was actually produced by the same guy that did our Plectra Series 1 Bazooki and Plectra Series 4 Turkish Oud, which are some of our most wonderful and playable world instruments. With Django, we're going back to the realm of Western instruments with the guitar, both acoustic and electric, but in a very unique style and approach. So what is Gypsy Jazz? It's a style of playing, uh, specifically of jazz, it's also called Gypsy Swing or Hot Club Jazz, that was sort of pioneered in the 1930s by someone by the name of Django Reinhardt. He created a very unique style because he had injured one of his hands and lost the use of two of his fingers, so he had to hold and play the guitar in a particular special way. This virtual instrument is split into two parts. There is the lead and the rhythm. So in this video, we're gonna cover everything, starting with the lead. The lead instrument shown here has two components. It has an acoustic guitar, and then it has a DI electric guitar. It's the same script, the same articulation, so it plays exactly the same way, but it's a different set of recordings. So I'm gonna start with the acoustic lead. That's just the default articulation, a little bit of basic playing there. Of course, it comes with legato articulations like hammer on. And then you've got glissando as well. And it's uh, very realistically recorded and voiced. You can see that the notes appear on the guitar's fretboard. It picks the right fret and string based on what you're playing. We have bend ups. as well as harmonics. And then octaves, which I think are particularly fun. The thing that's really great about this instrument is how much nuance and detail there is in each note. I'm just going to play sort of a small selection of notes going from very quiet dynamic low velocity to a high dynamic. You can hear there's so much subtle detail, the finger noise, the fret noise. If we pop open the settings icon, you can of course control the volume of the releases and other finger noise that occurs at random. You can also change how often the noise occurs. Another useful feature is the dirty note occurrence probability, which right now is set to zero. So let's say you're playing a fast run. If you hold down the dirty key switch or you turn this knob up, it will flub the notes slightly, which is very realistic because normally if you're playing something fast, you're not necessarily going to hit every note spot on. So I'm just going to play it on and off a bit with the key switch. You can hear by doing that, it's adding a more human element to the performance, which is totally controllable. The sound of the instrument also changes a lot based on the neck position. So if you're playing the low frets, So 
having the ability to do that and actually automate this knob based on where you are in the song or using any MIDI controller, it's very handy. Also, notes can be released with typical noise, which again is controlled down here, or you can release with a bend up or a bend down. Another way to change the tone of the guitar is using the effects rack. So we'll check that out here. Turn that off, there's also a nice parametric EQ. A transient designer, which is particularly nice for something very rhythmic. And then a compressor and a limiter. You can also save and load effects track presets, for example, if you want to go from the acoustic guitar to the electric. Speaking of the electric, let's check that out. Just like the acoustic guitar, you have control over the neck position. Generally speaking, when you're higher up, you're going to get a little bit more of a warm and muted sound simply because of the way that the strings vibrate. And you have the different releases as well. Noise volume, we can turn this all the way down. You can also change the attack offset, and this is something that really makes a big difference in terms of realism. Uh, as with a lot of our libraries, we don't chop out the sort of the, the finger and pick noise that comes before each note, but rather we want to give you control over that. So for example, when you're playing the instrument in real time, you might turn this knob all the way up, which makes it very responsive, but that's at the cost of removing some of that sort of pick material. So when it's time to render, you might shift your notes around a little bit and turn this all the way down again. The lead guitar rack also features an amp built in. So if we turn that off, The DI actually has a pretty fantastic sound. If you enjoyed our archtop instrument, I think uh, this will be very useful to you as well. Now let's check out the rhythm. This patch focuses on chord strum, so it works very differently to the lead patches. So here there are three things that you control. You control the root, the chord, and then what strum is played. So here we have a simple E6, and this is sort of the basic major chord of the library. There are no simple triads here. All the chords are built up a little bit more than that. So if I play any of these blue notes, we'll hear various strums. And the F sharp up here in the blue key range will kill the current note. Now we can change the chord and the key using key switches or knobs. So you can use MIDI CC for that. You'll notice that as I move the knob, we get the nice fret change sound. So now let's try changing the chord shapes. So you get a nice variety of useful chords. In terms of settings, there are noises, 
And there's also the ability to use manually input chord shapes instead of single note key switches. So with this, I can play a C major seven or a D minor seven. It's also pretty nice if you put the two track feature on and now we'll get a different chord, double track style, left and right ears. Another neat feature is the pattern sequencer. So if we open this, you can take a look at what's triggered when we hit these purple notes. Of course, this syncs up with the host tempo. It really sounds nice, and uh, you, of course, you can program your own patterns as well with sustained notes and such. Also, as with the lead patch, the rhythm patch has effects. So you've got a filter, EQ, transient designer, as well as a compressor and limiter. So that's Django Gypsy Jazz Guitar in a nutshell. It's uh, really a fantastic instrument, so much fun to play, and it really sounds nice out of the box, even if you're not really doing much key switching or anything like that, just by virtue of all the finger noises, release noises, the fret change things, they're all added automatically. You can pick up the lead bundle, which has both the acoustic and the electric guitar for $99 for contact, the rhythm guitar for $79, or the bundle with everything for $149. This has been Andrew Aversa, and I'll leave you with some nice demo music on the way out. <laughs>